we've cleared out most of the oxygen. In fact, that's the, the, we're ready to go. We're ready to go. Uh, Fry Guy, this is your new home. You need to come over here. Welcome back to Oxygen Not Included with me, JD. Um, now we got in-floor heating done last episode, we're starting to warm the place up. Um, we're not quite there yet, but, you know, it's close. Um, more importantly, any ice that we had on the floor is definitely melting. So, unfortunately, the duplicates have yet more tasks to do. Um, and, yeah, this, this system worked quite well, apart from... That's going to be a mess to clean up later. Eh, it's a later mess. Um, I do have the duplicates. Oh, you filled it. Uh, all copy their copy back. Um, I do have the, the duplicates doing a, a general sweep task. Um, it is unfortunately set fairly high, seven. Uh, just to clean up the thermal mass that's sitting on the floor. Because basically I was running... I was pumping in water that was at... At one stage it was at 60 degrees. I've actually lowered the temperature. And it was coming back out the other side at minus two. Um, now, you know, I've cleaned up a lot of the thermal mass. And I have preheated these tiles an awful lot, you know. The bottom rows up to 30 degrees. The top rows up to four. So, we're sort of at the point where, you know, we're, we're happy. Um, in fact, I am actually happy. So, I'm going to drop the temperature on that down to you know what 20 degrees 20 degrees sounds like a good temperature uh, same with that and we're gonna set you to keep looping if the liquid is above 20 degrees um, because it's a self-sustained loop I'm not putting any power into the system and the liquid keeps going round and round anyway um, so yeah now that we've done that we've heated up the floor I've actually managed to get this liquid lock in here so we need to repeat that process and now I actually have some pipes right here um, the easiest way to do this is literally like that and because we just need one little bit of water in this pipe if I then deconstruct the pipe the water is going to flow out as it does and land everywhere and give me a little liquid lock um, because I need two liquid locks I need one for duplicates to pick up food um, through the liquid lock and then I need a second liquid lock for duplicates to put food in so that's how we're going to get our kitchen to work um, at the same time now we have glass tiles I need to finally build you guys a floor so yeah I need glass tiles in here um, the glass tiles are in here to let the decor shine right the way through and it also means this is going to come fry's new uh new new workplace okay deconstruct pretty night i want that water to spill perfectly okay so the deconstruct uh that can go that can go and then we'll worry about the water on the floor uh Okay, so first things first, mop liquid spills. I need to not mop anywhere near this liquid lock, because that's far too dangerous. Um, but mop further away from it. And if I hover my mouse, yes, I have, I have water right in that tile. So I need to actually deconstruct that tile. And that'll let the liquid out, and then put the tile back. So... That fixes that problem. Uh, the other thing that we're researching or just researched is the gas range. Um, I want a gas range in here so we can start getting the next tier of food. Uh, I want to do omelets forever, fried mushroom forever, cooked fish forever, barbecue forever. Uh, copy settings there to there. Uh, on here we want basically everything. Um, surf and turf is really the food I'm going to look for. Um, because that's barbecue and cooked fish. That means I've just got to worry about ranching critters, nothing else. Which to me is the easiest way to get food. So um, that's our plan for here. And um, we might look at other foods as we unlock them. But that's the plan for our kitchen. Uh, on top of that, our kitchen needs some uh, needs some automation. So I am actually going to have a conveyor loader right here. Our auto sweeper can reach it. So that let's load up any food we've cooked. Um... And then I'm going to ship that 
to here and just drop that straight on the ground that's what I want I just want to drop the food straight there and then no uh, also need a second amount of uh, bit of shipping I need another conveyor loader and this is to bring other food back in so the idea is the duplicates can reach through these liquid locks and be able to bring food in and take food out so the food that dumps on the ground is what they can eat and then in this conveyor loader we're going to put all our raw food and same story i just want to drop it on the floor we're not exactly tiny dupes we are auto save dupes uh, I'm going to drop that on the floor there. That's made out of gold. Do you come with a decor buff? Negative. Okay, that's fine. So we're going to use the better one. And conveyor rail. Um, we're then going to use a bridge to go over that. And then drop that in there and this is my food the duplicates have been lazy and left on the floor after eating which actually goes in right there so any uh edible any edibles can go into these guys and they'll just ship them straight back into our kitchen in here we're gonna do edible as well and in here we're gonna do Okay, first off we're going to do cook ingredient and then I've got to make sure I don't get a loop. Uh, okay, edible. No, I can't make sure I don't get a loop. Not with how duplicates handle things. It's alright, it, it should be okay. Uh, power. We want conductive wire. I need to link up you. I need to link up you. And I need to link up you. Uh, sweep. Pro 9. Get rid of all of it. And all of that. And anything in here. Uh, and also at the same time, lock that room off. Because we can now enable this. And I can dig out this chlorine vent, which is what I've been planning to do for quite some time. Um, I want to knock out that chlorine vent, which is going to then fill the room with chlorine, which is great for our food. And at the same time, uh, also give me like a 100% sealed room. Um, this this line up being nothing but chlorine. I actually need to put a pump up here and, well, let's do it. Uh, pump, uh, gas pipe. Worm you through there. Uh, gas vent. Uh, automation. I need a gas element sensor there. Bit of automation. I need a knock gate. And run that to there as well. And then power wire in there. So that's that's our kitchen planned out. Um, it's probably not going to be ready to run just yet. Um, or is it? We've got heated flooring. No, I need I, I need this dug out first. Uh, I need to actually fill the room with chlorine first. Uh, now if I can actually click on... Whoop. Dig, 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 dig. Do analyze. Joe was smart. He went. He went to the Uh This you can get out with that suit. So yeah, this will start pumping with a room full of chlorine. We're gonna have chlorine coming in here at sixty degrees. That's perfectly fine. Um, everything in here should be able to. Nope. I Everything out of the wrong material. Power of 11. Okay. So that's done. Uh, it means I can 
basically start moving duplicates across. Um, there's really nothing stopping me at this stage to move the whole family across. So that's what we're going to do, actually. We're going to move everybody in the new home. Uh, Chris, Crisis, Phobia, Ethan, Fry Guy, Huff, JD, Joe Watt, JJ, Caretaker, Martin, uh, and Muppet. At the same time, this is going to become your new eatery. So Chris, Crisis, Phobia, Ethan, Fry Guy, Huff, JD, Joe Watt, JJ, Caretaker, Martin, Muppet. Uh, that should be everybody. So if I go look at these beds, they're all blank. These mess hall tables are all blank. Which means, not yet, not yet. The next, the next printable shall be our first sacrifice. Um, because I also need to work out food. Um, I've upgraded our mushroom farm abilities. Um, but at the moment, I also haven't uh, segregated the, the duplicates. So any bad duplicates can wander up here and use these facilities. And any good duplicates can wander, wander down here and use these facilities. I really want to separate the two. Um, so we're going to need a couple of you know, like high-tech, uh, unable to pass doors. Uh, like so. Uh, okay. If you guys can get... It's not unreachable. How is that an unreachable dig? That doesn't make any sense. Okay. Uh, what am I looking for? Food. Gas range. Out of gold. There. Electric grill. Out of gold. There. Uh... And Fryker has already, already moved over to the new grill. He's more than happy to start grilling over here. Um, and if we bring up the oxygen overlay and look at the gases, it's going to start filling up with chlorine from the bottom. I really, I need to get the chlorine up to sort of this sort of level um, before it's it's really safe to start dumping food on the floor. Um, obviously, that pump would really help. Can we please listen, game? That'd be awesome. It's still saying unreachable dig. There's nothing to dig. Uh, automation. Gas element sensor. Priority now. Top priority, fine. No longer unreachable dig. Uh, and actually, I also need to... Can I not build that over that? No. Uh, do I want hair flow tiles? No, I'm really happy with the ladder, actually. Deconstruct those two. That'll let the, the oxygen and everything out, out a little bit better. And it means that I can pump the chlorine out of this area. Oh, the, the non-chlorine out of this area. Um, okay. Okay. So, that's that job done. Uh, next job, I want to... Sorry, it's too annoying. I can't do it today. Uh, no, actually, like, probably one. Fry Fragre, don't, don't start using this kitchen yet. So, we've warmed up the floor, we've moved the duplicates over, we've got in our impenetrable doors of... Default access is nobody. Uh, and then we change default access and copy. So that means all the current duplicates have access, but anybody new has no access whatsoever. Um, so it also means I wanted to start doing some few little decoration things like glass uh, all the way through the toilets, please. Um, I really want the decor shining into the toilets and into the mess hall and uh, into the mess hall from above 
uh, and into the bedrooms from above as well. And stuff keeps melting. Can we just sweep up all the melty stuff, please? Uh, oh. No, I don't want diamond. I don't want diamond. Does that mean... There are diamond too. Shit. Okay. Let's try that again. Window tiles. Out of glass. Very nice. Okay. Oh, there we go. Gas element sensor. Come on. So I'm going to set you to... Chlorine is up. Why are you running, pump? So, yeah, it should, anytime it detects anything that's not chlorine, it should pump it out of the room. Um, and yeah, we've got a good mix of gases over here, so this is definitely working. We've got some water on the floor, again. Uh, ice, sweep, probably nine make it go away because it's just going to keep causing problems but yeah we've got some nice warm chlorine down here which is going to top up this room and then make sure all our food stays sterile at all times uh, and yeah our current we're limited a little bit by our um, atmospheric docks we can only have two duplicates in here at any one time okay so that's that done uh, next project I want to I got lots of projects um but we're not burning off hydrogen fast enough. So that's going to be our next major-ish project. Um, I think I'm going to build it. Wow, there's a mess. Okay. No, we're going to mop the whole base first from the looks of it. Did any of that get in the water? Of course it did. Yes, if, if the, 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 the liquid is not too much... Unfortunately, it's full of eggs. Uh, brine. It's only five kilos. So if it's not too much, you can actually have a duplicate. Just go down there and just mop it up. Um, if it is too much, there are other ways to deal with it. But yeah. I'm worried about contaminating this liquid lock over and over and over. We do have 95 kilos worth of natural gas in there. And this one's still not hooked up. Nope, because I never bothered to finish the power wire. Uh, sure, you can run into that power network. And gas pipe. I'm not going to insulate it yet. We're just going to run you into here. Because everybody likes a bit of pipe spaghetti. Okay, that'll get that one up and running. Uh, oh, Um, because yeah, that was a side project that obviously I forgot all about. Um, so yeah, we want another one of these, which means actually technically I should be able to do that. I can. And... Underneath. Let's leave a couple of tiles gap. I don't want to change the design. No, I don't want to change the design. We're, we're going to go with that. Uh, so I need to wrap that in insulation. That is... Hang on. Cancel. Buildings. That is abyssalite. That's abyssalite. That's abyssalite. That's abyssalite. That, that, and that are all abyssalite. That is also abyssalite. Uh, but I'm going to lay a pipe through it. Uh, actually, am I? Gas pipes. Uh, oh, I don't think I actually have to run anything through that pipe. That tile. Uh, so we do need a liquid lock. Uh, which actually, I don't even have to. I need an insulated tile there. I need insulated tiles there. I need that dug out. 
Yeah, that's it. They can come in here, they can do their job, and then they can get... Uh, actually, we need that one to be insulated. Uh, how am I going to get the bottle emptier in there? Because it's a three high tile building. Um... Actually, in theory, I should be able to put it right there. So, plumbing, bottle emptier, right there. In theory, that'll work. We've cleared out most of the oxygen. In fact, that's the, the, we're ready to go. We're ready to go. Uh, Fry Guy, this is your new home. You need to come over here. Uh, Fry Guy's old kitchen. We're going to move down to grade four. Uh, And ooh, you guys are gonna be the first piece of barbecue for the new meal. Uh, I know I lied, but this is pipsqueak. You know, pipsqueaks could be important. Combat crisis from the other side of the map is gonna come down here and do combat. Oh, which also means... I think the ration box can go. No, it can't go till I've actually... I oh, know if I'm cooking everything over here, he probably can. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a refrigerator in this gap. Set that to highest priority so it actually gets done. And then I think the ration box can. Ooh, it's done. Uh, the ration box can go as well. Uh, all. Like priority 8 or something. Uh, we're out of fertilizer. Uh, organic. I'm out of slime. Alright, we're out of slime. Uh, this biome. So, we're out of slime. That means... What do we have? Sedimentary rock. Build out of sedimentary rock. Uh, running out of slime is bad. Uh, okay, we're going to come up here. We're going to go up. Cross. Uh, yep. All of that can go away. Uh, which now means my priority is not going to be on a hydrogen storage tank. It's going to be on a liquid tank. Because we're going to make one hell of a mess taking all this out. Cement Pretty Nine. Uh, Pretty Nine, the top row, so duplicates can actually get in there and do the digging. Okay, so we've planned out that at least. We're going to walk away and leave that one alone. We now need to do a gas, uh, no, a liquid. What do we do that in the next episode? No, we're going to do it in this episode. Um, okay, liquid needs to go, liquid's funny, uh, so first off I'm going to put down some insulation, I need, I'm going to do polluted water, we don't have a germ problem, oh we could have a germ problem, okay. Yep, that's our polluted water tank, uh, which is wrapped with a bisolite on that side. Uh, 
Do it, do it, do it. Algae, algae, algae. All sorts of other crap. That should be fine. In there, we're going to put a pump, a liquid vent, a. Do I need a sensor? No, I don't really need a sensor. Um. Okay, so then we're going to want a ladder, so we've got access. Uh, and I need to clear off all of that, so Jim is actually going to here and get stuff done. Uh, they can't reach the bottom tiles, so we're going to have to give them... You can't do that part. You need to get in here and dig all this out. All of that out too. Uh, plumbing. We need a liquid pipe that's going to will make it insulated just in case. Just in case we end up pop, pumping hot liquids or anything in here later, later down the track. Um, we want to. Bring our pipe out the top, but I want to prioritize plumbing. I want to uh, I want to prioritize into that, and if it's full, then we go here. Okay. So, liquid bridge there. So that's going to prioritize, so this is liquid input. So it's going to prioritize going that way and that way. If that's full, it'll then come down to this liquid vent and dump out. Uh, and we just need this done. Uh, we also need a power cable through to there. Yeah, that should be heaps. Liquid vent, don't we have gold? Make it out of copper because I have really no use for the copper. Uh, okay, meanwhile, we've started carving that out. We're already up to one and a half tons worth of slime. Uh, oh, we have our neural vacillator and some lockers. Ah, uh, rummage. 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 Uh, power overlay, deconstruct. Nothing. Oh, oh, a cool vest. A snazzy suit. Oh, that's obviously mine. And a cool vest. Uh, I'll tell you what. Um, protects the wearer from heat by decreasing insulation. Probably a bad idea in this playthrough. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll let the new people put that, that one on. Um, okay. So, yeah. This is going to let us store liquids. Uh, in much the same way our, um, our gas system does, um, just under pressure, we're just going to keep cramming liquids into the room until it explodes. It doesn't explode. We're in the end. We're in the punchline. Uh, storage bin down here. Uh, has all this sweeping been done? I think so. Uh, sweep, probably nine. Not quite. There's still a few bits and bobs. Uh, how did we crack the gas pipe? Okay, you turn off. You're officially done. That is pretty, what I would call, full of chlorine. And there we go. We have cooked fish and fried mushroom right there. Some paku fillet, there's a barbecue there as well. Uh, whatever happened to nothing? All the food disappeared. Can I not click to tell me where my food is? No, my food just exists somewhere. I just don't know where it is. Awesome. Uh, copy settings, there to there. Oh, that one still hasn't been deconstructed. Uh, and you were going to do surf and turf. That's one of the ones we wanted. Um, which is fish and barbecue. And according to this, we have barbecue fillet 11 and barbecue 4. Who made a mess of why? Martin. Martin, Martin, Martin. Dig yourself out. 
dig yourself out. You're gonna have a nap instead. Okay, I understand. I understand. Uh, when you finish having a nap, okay, then you can come out and come play with the others. All right, Mimos, how's this going? Uh, right, how's this sweet task going? It's pretty much being ignored. Okay. So I want you all sw all sweep only. And then I need another sweep task in here. Because I do not want to leave any of this crap inside our water tank. I want you to output uh, crude oil. Priority 9 auto bottle. Still 11. I, I, I need it done now, now. Uh, and actually, research. Uh, we've pretty much done all the research that we need for the moment. Um, transit tubes, better artwork, the mon monument. So we're just going to start at the top of the list and just, like, just do whatever's there. Um, obviously, we don't have oil processing yet. We haven't started playing with oil yet, but, you know, we'll get to oil shortly. Uh, I need a ladder there, there, and there, so they can jump across and clear whatever's left, or the last little bit left in here. So, Aaron, it's JD. Uh, I think I just ran past with oil. Did I just run past with like 200 grams of oil? 300 grams worth of oil. Ah. Oh. Clean out that much of that biome. Uh, and we're running down here. Oh, we're getting oil from down there. Still. Okay. I just want this finished. We'll call, call, call this the episode. Uh, heated floor is... That, that's, that's, that's a nice shade of green. Like, heated floors do well. Uh, having hot mushroom at... Really? I don't get a temperature on a mushroom? 78 degrees. That that also works well. Uh, chlorine at... Uh, actually, the chlorine looks fairly cold, to be honest. Uh, we want that in there. Uh, but yeah, it's going to super pressure as this room to 5 kilos. And then as long as our water locks never fail, because um, if they do, that five kilo chlorine is going to come bursting through our base so fast it's not funny. Uh, oh, I'm waiting fuel. That's the only thing I have to do. Uh, damn. Join those two together, and then deconstruct all of those. Uh, and, uh, ventilation, gas pipe. I just need the smallest amount of gas out of this system. Uh, actually, I need all of that to go away. You're just at the point where you're annoying me. Oops. that later to run hygiene into that same uh, no, that part can go away next. Okay. Uh, so I need to get natural gas into this room. We're just going to use a normal log gas pipe. Run it through our oxygen maker power plant. Uh, down here, we are going to have to put in some ladder pieces. There, there. Uh, one, two, three, four. And we can now reach everything. Uh, bring that. Ladder gases. Okay, so I should be able to bring that.
like that. Cancel deconstructing those ones and get rid of everything else. Yeah. Okay. Uh, water room. Sweet, pretty nice. All of that. Get rid of that. How much oil do we have? Oh, 800 kilos. Uh, 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 off. I wasn't watching. So we have 800 kilograms worth of oil right there, which now means that if I pump uh, any other liquid like water into this room, uh, so just a pretty nine. We hopefully they sweep it to right here rather than probably somewhere else halfway across the map. Um, So, as I say, if I pump another liquid in there, like, say, polluted water, then what should happen is it can't occupy the same time at the tile as the crude oil. So it'll actually get shifted up a tile. And because this gas vent is not overpressured, I should be perfectly fine. And the polluted water will just keep, keep compressing in this room over and over and over. Which now means I can move that up around the outside. I just need I need all this crap picked up and taken away. Come on, dupes. And then Okay, let's look at this biome. That's the abyssalite wall. Which is so terribly broken, it's not funny. Uh, yeah, it's not even contained on this side either. Alright. Can I deconstruct? I can. Actually, that didn't really help me. No, it sort of did. Okay, what I'm going to do is we're going to bring our duplicates in here. And... You have finished being swept out. Oh, it's ceramic pipes. No wonder. Uh, I don't need ceramic. I have no idea how you even got set to ceramic. Igneous rock. More than good enough. Okay. Back to this biome. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, I'm just going to carve out the whole biome. That seems mostly reasonable. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. My next ladder will be here. Uh, yeah, right up to the edge of the abyssalite. Uh, one, two, three, one, one, two, two, one, three, one, two, three, four. And oop, not into the abyss light. We'll leave the abyss light. Although, oh, they're technically two different biomes. Yeah. Uh, and then we're gonna say, hey, dupes, if you see it, dig it. Uh, my diggers are so good at this jo their job. They'll take care of this in like three cycles. Three cycles for a ballpark guess. Um, which also means once they're done with this, I'm going to put a pump somewhere, somewhere towards the bottom. And we're then going to um, start clearing out, well, everything. Uh, submit bias scan. Uh, set that again, super high priority. Uh, priority at level 9. I want that row super high, and I want that row super high. It generally leads to less stuck duplicates. Not always, but mostly. Uh, okay, ceramic, sweep, pre nine. Come on, seal this in. Uh, oh. 
That's sort of all I can do until the ceramics picked up. Nobody. Still nobody. Did you guys suddenly decide this was too far to walk? Oh, somebody. Okay. Uh, yep, so we can block that in. And the reason I use airflow tiles is because of the special magical force field that is created by airflow tiles when they come into contact with liquid. Uh, as can be demonstrated right here. Yeah. Uh, forever. Just make all the glass, please. Come on, Chris. Once that tile's done, I can then just seal up the top. And know it's good to go. Uh, this one never got finished. But I'm sure the jibs will work on it. Next episode... Uh, we've already knocked out like a quarter of what I told them to take, get rid of. That's pretty impressive if you stop and think about it. Uh, body temperature 22 degrees. Yeah, I can't see that warming up, but we're going to try not to rip you out of the ground just in case. Uh, is there anything else on auto harvest that I missed? Nope, everything is pretty much dead. It's cold out there and everything else is just dead. Dead or dying. Alright, well, yeah, this is where I'm going to call this episode. Um, we went from having no slime to 20 tons. Uh, so that should refill our box and get these guys back up and running. Um, we haven't really run short of calories. And if we ever do... No, there are no hatches really. Uh, yeah, there are some hatches. There are some some um, eggs. So, yeah, it's causing all sorts of problems. So, I think next episode as well, we're going to start automating uh, our ranches. And we're also going to start bringing in all the sacrifices. Thank you guys, everybody who submitted your name um, or a name. Um, we're going to be welcoming many of you over the next upcoming episodes. Anyway, that's it from me. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll get this and this set up both the next episode we'll get some ranches set up automatically in the next episode then maybe we'll tackle oil because we do have a lot of oil here doing a whole lot of nothing that could, we could probably do something with um anyway that's me that's the new base out uh that's uh decor going through the roof kitchen is fine uh you're pretty pain. You're pretty sick. Um, but yeah, that's it. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.